Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to easily make a monogram in Illustrator. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jonathan from The Forge Type Code, where we create products and tutorials to help designers. We release new design tutorials on this channel every week, so make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Let's head into Illustrator and I'll show you how to make your monogram. So the first thing you need to do to make your monogram is to make your letters. Today, we'll be using a D and a K as an example. So you can use the pen tool. So you make a box and then use a the direct selection tool to pull in the two corners here to round out the side and then add the feet on the end. In the bottom here, you just might, might need to bring up the stroke size a little bit depending on what kind of monogram you want to make. Of course, you can draw all your shapes like this if you want to, but at The Forge, we've developed a font just made for making monograms to speed up the process called Dark Valley. So we'll be using that font today to speed up a little bit. So now we have our D and our K. The first thing you want to do is go up to Object, Expand, and then you want to ungroup them. So now you have shapes, so they're not letters anymore. Now you need to align them over the top of each other. I have these little guidelines here just to help me make sure I get the right shape and that they're still proportional. So now we're gonna play around with the letters a little bit to get the shape we're looking for because right now when they're over the top of each other, you can't really make out both the shapes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna widen the D a little bit and make the K taller so you can shape, see both of the shapes. So I'm actually just gonna take the K first and put it on a different layer so then we don't lose it when we're trying to pull the points of the D. So you want to press A or come up to the direct selection tool and you want to select all the points that you want to pull it along so that it's still proportional. And now with the K, you can make sure we select the right layer now. And you want to do the same thing with the K. So you want to pull this one all the way up to the top here and pull this one down. And now just the two angles. And just the last one here, pull this one up. And this is where the grids help because it kind of shows you if you're keeping everything proportioned the same size. I think monograms look the best when you can add a bit of dimension to them. So you can put them just on top of each other, but I think the best thing to do is when they look interwoven with each other. So I'll show you how to do that now. So you wanna make sure you select both of your shapes, come up to Object, Path, and then Offset Path. You might just need to play around in these settings a little bit, depending on how much you wanna take off in the size of your shapes. 15 is gonna work for us today. So the, now the thing that I like to think about is that you want to knock out one vertical and then one horizontal so to keep it consistent. So make sure you select everything, come over to your Pathfinder tool or Shift M on the keyboard and make sure you hold the Option or the Alt key while you're doing this because this will minus it out. If you don't hold the Option, it will join all the shapes together. But today we want to be minusing. So we want to minus this side out. So by doing that, it gets rid of the outside of the shape, but it still is keeping the original letters that we made before. So now we want to do the same down here and minus this bottom bit out. And you just got to make sure that you take off all the bits you're not using. So you want to get rid of all this outside bit and just make sure you're keeping this inside bit of the places you're minusing. So we're going to do a vertical here to a horizontal key. So now you have that, you wanna just, the last thing to do is come up here to properties, pathfinder and unite it all. And also a good thing to do in the new illustrator, press command Y to see the outlines. And if you wanna get rid of some of these points to clean it up a little bit, right click and come down to simplify. And simplify will automatically 
take away the unnecessary points you have to clean it up for. And here's our finished monogram. As you can see from eliminating the outlines, it's given us a 3D effect and the letters look like they're interwoven from each other. You can play around with this with all different letters and combinations for whatever suits your brand best. You can also put it next to text and combo it to make a nice combination logo mark. And that's one easy way to make monograms in Illustrator. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more future content. See you later.